tales for dark nights. The following performance is a first round entry in the 2017 Evil Idol voice acting competition. Voting is simple. Following the performance, simply click the thumbs up icon on this video if you'd like them to become a member of the team, or the thumbs down if you'd rather they not. Voting on this entry will conclude one week after the date of its posting. Good luck to all of our contestants. There's nothing in the house by the railroad tracks, she would always say every time we drove by. It was an old, crumbling thing, rain-soaked and sagging like a tired dog. Years of trains rumbling had shaken up the foundation and broken most of the windows. The front door stood open like a gaping mouth through which no light could be seen. I got tired eventually of her telling me that there was nothing there. I didn't believe her. Why should I have? Old houses usually had at least some old furniture or something inside, so I decided that it was my right to know one rain-soaked evening. I slipped out the door into the rainy night while she was asleep on the couch. Since we only lived about ten minutes away, I was able to make my way there relatively unnoticed. It looked odd the way it rose out of the rainy darkness in front of me. I climbed the creaky stairs and stood in the doorway, taking one last look behind me at the misty night before I slipped inside. I walked forward for a minute or two, but it was much darker inside than I thought it was going to be. I put my hands out but could feel no walls. I turned back to the door, but the tiny gray point of light now seemed about fifty feet away. I took a step towards it and thrust itself backwards until it was nothing but a tiny dot of light on the horizon of my vision. It's cold in here. Musty, too like a steamer trunk in a long-forgotten attic. I would like to tell you how long I've been here, but my watch hand spun around for a few minutes after the door moved before snapping in half. I don't feel hungry or tired anymore. The door is usually miles ahead, but once in a while it moves high above me, floating like a firefly in the darkness. Sometimes, impossibly, it's far below me. A small point of light in a dark abyss with no end. She was right. There really is nothing in the house by the railroad tracks. A whole lot of nothing. But every once in a while, when the door moves, I hear a faint laughter from somewhere off the dark. And sometimes, just sometimes, the light from the door is snuffed out for a moment, as if something large is moving in front of it. And I'm left to wonder... Or is there? Thank you for listening. If you haven't already, don't forget to cast your vote for this contestant via either a thumbs up or thumbs down vote. New entries will be posted throughout July. Be sure to tune in and vote for each of them and help decide who becomes the next Evil Idol. In the meantime, Turn off the lights and turn on the dark. Chilling Tales for Dark Nights